Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teen. And for today's video, I'm gonna try to do K-Beauty Sunscreens review. Last month, I got selected and received different K-Beauty Sunscreens. And I'd like to thank Style Korean Try Me Review Me program for that. First, I'd like to start with Tuku Boost. Yes, these sunscreens are great. They are my favorites, but my most favorite is the Sunstick. It has smooth, nice finish and is super lightweight to skin. It doesn't feel anything sticking to your face when you put it on. I think this is a must-have during the summer season. Okay, I'll show you a video clip and I'll put in some useful information that I've gathered from their site about the sunscreen. This is Tokubu Cotton Soft Sunstick with SPF 50 and PA++++. Sunscreen that has safe UV protection ingredients that strongly blocks the UV. This is recommended for those with sensitive skin or all skin type. At the last step of skincare, take an appropriate amount of this product and spread it evenly to your face. For the ingredients, it has cotton extract that's for moisturizing protection. For skin boosting, it has hub AC complex. For balancing the skin oil moisture, it has anti sebum cream. This is unscented, it has fresh fragrance, very nice texture, leaves the skin with silky glossy finish. Tukubu Bio Water Sun Cream. This is moisturizing, quick absorbing sunscreen that has completed hypoallergenic tests or clinical test trials. Very nice and soothing and also protects the skin from UV rays. Use this at the last step of skincare. Take an appropriate amount of this product and spread it evenly to your face. This is also unscented and is recommended for people with sensitive skin type or people with all skin type. It has fresh scent and really lightweight to skin. I like the silky smooth finish. For the ingredients of this, it has hyaluronic acid that's good for increasing the moisture retention. It also has mineral and amino acid rich for intensive nourishment. I'm outside or out in the sun, I do really reapply sunscreens to my face. After 14 minutes, do protect my skin from UV rays when I'm out of the sun by, of course, avoiding hours, covering up, and applying sunscreen. Among these two, my favorite is the Tutubu Cotton Sunstick. They are absolutely lovely and really great to skin. It's just that the sunstick is way more effortless and not that messy when applied. And of course, they have an Instagram account. You may check it there. Just type at Tutubu underscore US. Then I also have the Jimmy Soul sunscreens, the very popular waterfall hyaluronic sunscreen, and the super zooting Zika and aloe sunscreen. This Jimmy Soul waterfall hyaluronic sunscreen is a type of water-based hybrid sunscreen. It's a combination of mineral and chemical it protects the skin from UV rays, helps even skin tone by leaving the skin moisturized and soft finish. Use this at the last step of skincare routine. Gently apply a suitable amount to the face and until it is absorbed. Key ingredients of this one is the hyaluronic which is known best for moisture and skin nourishing. The texture is water-based lightweight that doesn't really bother me when it's on my skin. It is unscented too and is really very soothing to skin. I've noticed that it also gives my skin a slight luminous finish. Jibiso Super Soothing Sika and Aloe Sunscreen. One right here is a type of mineral sunscreen that is carefully formulated with very skin-friendly and safe ingredients. It has undergone clinical trials too. Use this at the last step of skincare. Get an appropriate amount of the product and gently apply it to the face even. This is really mild sunscreen for all skin type and those with sensitive skin type. For the ingredients, it has Sika for skin calming and it has aloe for skin soothing. This soothing, yes, and this is also unscented. It has a slight glossy finish and also a little tone up. For the texture and heaviness, it is very lightweight but somehow it bothers me. This type of sunscreens like tinted sunscreens and tone up sunscreens they are good to have i love everything about this sunscreen super comfortable to wear and it's really moisturizing to my skin for this super zooting sika and aloe this is really made for those with sensitive skin i have sensitive skin yes but to tell you the truth guys this one didn't work out for me a few days of using this it was okay but after some days of using this one I think it kind of clogs my face. My skin really prepares the waterfall sunscreen than the super soothing aloe. My skin is sensitive too, but this is not for me. This is my favorite. I find it super quickly to be absorbed to the skin than this one. It takes a while to be absorbed. And I strongly recommend that this Jimmy So Waterfall Hyaluronic Sunscreen for those who want to add extra moisture to skin 
and want to tone up their skin a little bit and wants to have extra smooth finish and extra plumpiness to their skin. You may check Chimiso sunscreens on Instagram. Just type at Chimiso underscore global. Now for Benton sunscreen. I have the Benton UV Air Fit sunscreen and Benton Skin Fit Mineral sunscreen. For the Benton Air Fit UV Defense sunscreen, it's very lightweight physical sunscreen that protects the skin from UV rays. It's not greasy and it leaves the skin with luminous glow and it has fresh finish. It's undergone clinical tested and it gives a slightly cooling feeling when applied. On the final step of basic skin care, get an appropriate amount of this and then apply it evenly to your skin 30 minutes before you go out of the sun. Reapply to the skin as needed. This is for all skin types but I think it is best suitable for those with dry and sensitive skin. About the ingredients, it has Centelia Asiatica which soothes and calms the skin with antibacterial properties. Pantanol for moisture, for nourishment it has the copper oil. A rosemary essential oil scent. This soothing, yes, very soothing. For the texture and heaviness, it is very lightweight. Really feels great on skin. Next is Benton Skin Fit Mineral Sun Cream. A physical sun cream that focuses for skin protection. Very hydrating and care for skin texture without stickiness even when applied several times to skin. It has triple function for wrinkle care brightening and UV protection. Use the sunscreen, apply a proper amount to the face evenly before going for outdoor activities. This is recommended for those who need an intensive UV defense for all skin types. For the ingredient, it has Antelia Asiatica Extract, Calamine, and Witch Hazel for calming and moisture. The scent is Rosemary Extract, but I think it's more like an oregano. It leaves dewy finish as slightly toned up but this is not soothing. For texture and heaviness, it has soft formula, lightweight. And one thing I never like about sunscreen is the original scent of a sunscreen. What I'm looking for is those without any fragrance at all. Now guys, the Benton UV Defense Sunscreen got me really wow. I like how it has a little bit of fresh scent on it. When I apply this on my face even for a longer time in a day, it doesn't really feel sticky or it didn't feel heavy on I love the way how it feels on my face, super lightweight. It's glossy, it's so moisturizing, it feels premium. It's a great UV shield. Again, this is sunscreen for all skin types. But those with dry skin or combination skin and oily skin would benefit this the most. Because this product is super hydrating. It protects my skin from UV rays while moisturizing my skin. When applied, it doesn't feel any way on my face. While this Benton Sun Fit Mineral Sun Cream, notice when I apply this one, it leaves my skin a little bit toned up. Already expressed my feelings about sunscreen's tone up earlier. This is actually not bad to try. Blends easily and dries up quickly. This is really great to have during summer season. It will not only protect your skin from UV rays, but also nourishes your skin and enhances it with a little bit of tone up effect. A little reminder guys, when trying to get the content of the product out, squeeze the tube carefully and slowly. You may check this sunscreen on Instagram. Just type at Benton Cosmetics. Marion May Sika Soothing Sun Cream. Has triple function, whitening, sun protection, and anti-aging. Cruelty free, hypoallergenic, and moisturizing sun cream. Use this at the last step of skincare. Take an appropriate amount of the product and apply it evenly to the skin. For sensitive skin and for all skin types. For the ingredients, it has fermented Sika complex, suits the skin and helps blocks the UV rays. Inositol for moisturizing, thing that cares for skin texture. For hydration, it has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide for brightening effect. Is this soothing to skin? Yes, this is very soothing to skin. I love Marion May skincare brand so much. I have tried different serums. Their skincare line works incredibly great for those with sensitive skin. I got so excited that I added a sunscreen too to their skincare line. A promising product for those with sensitive skin. The triple function is great. It moisturizes the skin, protects the skin from UV rays, it will help brighten the skin, and it has anti-aging properties. The texture of this product is not thick, but it's kind of a little bit gelatinous. I didn't have any skin irritation from using this one, but I've noticed that it will only work out for me if I stop using a lot of skincare to my face. Just a toner after wash, and this sunscreen will do. I strongly recommend this for those with sensitive skin type. My final feelings about this sunscreens well for tone up i picked the jimiso waterfall hyaluronic sun cream my issue with tone up sunscreens i 
find it kind of requires a lot of time to blend it out to my face but this one blends out so easily and quick drying my skin loves the Tokobo sun stick better but the Tokobo sun cream and the Benton air fit UV defense sun cream Dimiso waterfall hyaluronic and the Marion May Sika soothing sun cream are great sunscreens that can be used every day those that I left out or that I didn't mention are really great on skin too, especially during summer season when the weather gets so hot. But it didn't really work out for me. I don't really prefer them to use, especially if you're a skincare holic like me, where you like to put a lot of skincare layer into your face and then wear a sunscreen to go outside. Yeah. But then again, it's just me and my skin condition. Tokubu sunscreens are less messy to apply, really really dried up quickly. That's one thing I like about them. I think if you already have beautiful skin, these sunscreens will highlight your skin more. Well, if you have sensitive skin, go with the Benton sunscreen. If you are into a toned up sun cream, go with Jumiso's. I really advise to get this waterfall hair. It has beauty effect when applied, like takes care of your pores. Oh, don't miss out this Marion May Sika Soothing Sun Cream too. The triple functioning is really great. Again, disclaimer, I am not a skin expert. It's always best to consult first with an expert before trying out something you all have different skin type. If this products work for me, it doesn't mean that it will work for you too. Before I end this video, I will show you a comparison and I will proceed with the ratings. So I will start with Jimmy So. I have turned down the brightness. This is the Jimmy So Sika. And this is the Jimmy So Waterfall Hyaluronic Sun Cream. Comparison. I don't see any differences. I think the texture looks the same. These are Benton sunscreens. I will start with the mineral sun cream. And with a Benton Air Fit UV Defense sun cream. Mary and May. So good. Tokubu is kind of quite runny. Sunstick. This is barely visible. No wonder the Tokubu sun cream dries up so easily. This is super lightweight on the skin. Mary and May. Benton Air Fit UV Defense. So soothing. And mineral sun cream. Not actually soothing. Jimiso Sika and the Jimiso Waterfall Hyaluronic. The consistency and texture of each. The Jimiso Waterfall Hyaluronic Sun Cream is so soothing to skin. I like that. Jimiso Sika and Aloe Sun Cream, the Benton Skin Fit Sun Cream, is not really soothing. It's a mild sun cream. Benton Air Fit Sun Cream stands out. This is really, really soothing. The Marion May Sika Soothing Sun Cream, kinda soothing too. The Tokubu Sun Cream is kinda soothing too. I like how it feels on my skin. This is so lightweight. Well, the Tokubu Sun Stick, this is my favorite. No matter how many layers I apply to my skin, it still doesn't feel that I have applied something on my skin. It feels so natural. I love this one. This is really worth the buy and worth to have for all times. For Tokubus, I love this sunscreen so much. So I'll be rating them 5 over 5. For Jinso, 5 over 5. Super Soothing Sika Sun Cream for 3 over Benton, I will give this one a 5 over 5. This one a 4 over 5. And the Marion May Sika Soothing Sunscreen a 4 over 5. I hope you find this video somehow helpful. May you find yourself on wanting to get any one of these sunscreens. May you check them out on Style Korean website. For their website, I will link them down below the description box. You may check Style Korean on Instagram. They have an Instagram account. Just type style korean underscore global for 10% off discount you may use a coupon code sunscreen party exclusive valid until 17th of july this year so yeah i hope you find this video somehow useful and thank you guys for watching i'll see you on my next vlog